Hello everyone, my name is Samir and today I am going to speak about plastic and its impacts on environment and human health. So what are plastics? Plastics are materials consisting of wide range of synthetic compounds so can be molded into solid objects. Plastics are made from natural materials such as cellulose, coal, natural gas, salt and crude oil through a polymerization process. The world's first fully synthetic plastic was Bakelite invented in New York in 1907. And since then today we produce almost 400 million tons of plastic bags in a year, from which less than 20% is getting recycled. Why not? It costs approximately $4,000 to recycle one ton of plastic bags. Plastic bags are everywhere. On tree, on land, in water, in our oceans, lakes, rivers, to almost all corners of our world. Now, Plastics affect us and the environment throughout its life cycle, that is from its manufacturing process to its disposal. When plastics are manufactured, it releases toxic byproducts and waste which pollute our environment and also affect human health. Now when plastic after distribution happens to be used, leaching of different kinds of chemicals takes place, which enter human food chain. Then when it is disposed because of incineration process which involves the combustion of organic substances, contained in waste materials produce a wide variety of pollutants which are det detrimental to human health. Also landfills that is site for disposal of waste materials are formed uh, which pollute the local environment including the water and the soil. Moreover health is at risk for those who live within 5 kilometers of landfill site. Now how plastics affect environment? Plastic is one of the toxic non-biodegradable pollutants which pollutes land, air, water, etc. During its manufacturing process in industries, it releases huge quantity of carbon monoxide, dioxin, hydrogen cyanide and VOCs which has a huge impact on our environment and pollute our air seriously. Being a non-biodegradable material, land fillings with plastics preserves the poisons forever. Now how plastics affects land? Plastic pollution on land is both physical and chemical. It reduces soil fertility by forming the path of manure for years. It also spoils environmental aesthetics and hygiene. Also plastics present in the landfills release different kinds of harmful hazardous VOCs during incineration. Because of plastics, soil can lessen the growth of plants and trees by blocking the absorption of minerals, waters and other essential nutrients. Plastics can cause landslides also. The only reason why we still have capacity on our land to throw plastics is because we dump most of them into our oceans. Already the ocean is filled with about 165 million tons of plastics that is 25 times heavier than the Great Pyramid of Giza and by 2050 the plastic in the oceans will outweigh fish, predicts a report from Ellen Mac Arthur Foundation. Negative impacts of plastics on air. Industries emit large amount of carbon monoxide, dioxin and hydrogen cyanide uh, into the environment. These chemicals or gaseous pollutants contaminate air and cause respiratory diseases, nervous system disorders, immune suppression and is also known for cause of cancers in human beings. Negative impacts of plastics on fresh water. Plastic wastes which are dumped into water courses contaminate and poisons fresh water life whose effects are severe. It can have many adverse effects like on leaching in water, plastics can easily enter the human food chain and harm human health. Also plastic debris can clog the sewage drains and create stagnant water which will be an ideal habitat for mosquitoes and other parasites, which can be a reason for spreading diseases like malaria. Choked drain can also cause flooding during monsoons. Now what are the impacts of plastics on marine environment? There are many harmful effects that plastics can have on marine life. Marine vertebrates can get entangled in the nets and also can ingest the plastic debris. Over a million seabirds and mammals die annually from ingestion of plastics. Also plastics are mistaken for food and is eaten up by birds, turtles, seals and whales. This might choke them, poison them or impede digestion and cause starvation. About 44% of seabirds eat plastics mistaken for food, leading to suffocation or blockage of digestive tracts and eventually die. Plastic impacts on human health. 
we come into contact with plastic in all stages of its life cycle from the extraction of raw materials to the manufacturing of plastics through the consumer's uses and finally the disposal cancer diabetes chronic inflammation and various immune diseases are some examples of severe health issues caused by plastics and its toxic components heavy substances released in the extraction and waste incineration processes has been strongly linked to problems in more vulnerable populations such as children and pregnant women one example of how plastics reach human body plastics present in the oceans do not biodegrade so they break up into tiny pieces that affect the oceans these plastic products can also act as a sponge and soak up the other toxins present in the oceans because of these plastic products marine marine life gets contaminated which is further consumed by humans here we can see clearly see in this graph how manufacturing of plastic products has increased over the years in 1917 uh, there wasn't even 1 million tons of plastic bags being produced it took around um, 70 years to reach a year where around 100 million tons of plastics were produced which was in 1987 and in just um, 30 years after 1987 it has increased to 400 million tons of plastic bags being produced um, in a year which should be thought about We do not want our planet full of plastics. We want a clean and hygienic environment. So, what can we do? We can use cloth bags. Using cloth bags saves six plastic bags per week, twenty-four per month, two eighty-eight bags per year, and it can lead to twenty-two thousand plastic bags in an average person's lifetime. So, using cloth bags can be a solution for this problem. Also governments should implement some kind of policies regulating plastic bags like China Italy Bangladesh many and many other african countries etc did till 2018 127 countries have implemented some kind of bans on plastics to decrease the environmental loss made by it thank you